Hello everyone. It has been a few weeks since I got the news from Gatsby's cancer scans in and I thought I would go over all that information. If you haven't heard the news, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting for so long. It took me a while to just go through and process everything in my head. It has been a lot. So before I go any further, let me just tell you that it is really good news. So at the end of October, the beginning of November, Gatsby had been developing a pretty runny nose to the point where he was having trouble breathing. I did email the UC Davis oncology team to see what was going on. I described the symptoms. They told me that those were symptoms of the cancer coming back in his nose. When Gatsby got his nasal cancer treated last year, um, they told me that the treatment lasts about one year and after that, the cancer would come back. If we treated the cancer again, the treatment would last like half as long each time you do it after that. We already had um, his follow-up appointment scheduled, so it was all pretty much just like a waiting game. They wanted to run a CT scan to see because there's no other way to see inside of a dog's nose other than by using a CT scan. If you remember in the last video, I was just pretty much spending all my time with Gatsby. I started dreading the day when um, we would go to UC Davis. I already felt that like it's, it's just not going to be good news. There's, there's no good news that could come from any of this. He's already showing all these symptoms and I was just breaking down all the time. I had a very hard time concentrating on anything or just like eating food. Um, I just felt nauseous all the time. All I what ended up doing was just spending all my time just being with Gatsby and trying to enjoy, you know, what time we had left. So the UC Davis appointment came. Oh, my heart has been racing for the past, like, many days. Are you ready, Gatsby? I hope I'm ready. <laughs> We made the two hour trip up to UC Davis. We already had the CT scan scheduled, but I also mentioned that Gatsby has been a little bit squirmy when I would touch certain areas of his chest. And the one thing that they always do whenever Gatsby comes in for a checkup is they do a chest x-ray because that is the most likely place for the cancer to spread it would be the chest. When Gatsby had his adrenal cancers, I used to touch his back and he would get really squirmy then too. So anyway, I, I mentioned all of that to the doctors and they wanted to do, instead of just a chest x-ray, they wanted to do a CT scan of his chest as well. CT scans are a lot more accurate than an x-ray. Thankfully, you guys were so supportive with our merchandise launch that I was able to afford a CT scan for Gatsby's chest instead of just doing a regular x-ray. So I am here at UC Davis right now and we are waiting for Gatsby. I gotta go and give a fist bump to the cat for good luck. I just had to wait at UC Davis for like eight hours being stressed out. It was like already the evening time. The doctor came in and told me that he had the results from Gatsby's CT scan and that they were good news. When I heard that, I did not believe him. I was like, okay, maybe the good news is like, it didn't spread that badly. He pulled out his laptop and he started showing me the CT scans and comparing it to the beginning of this year in January when we did a CT scan. And surprisingly, it was even clearer than in January. I... <laughs> I don't know what to, you know, I, I was, I was shocked and his chest, he said they did the CT scan of his chest and it was clear too. I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. I'm sorry that I'm like crying. And when I checked Gatsby in, I mentioned, uh, you know, like, is it possible that it's something else? And they said, well, it could be post radiation side effects. If the dog can last like a year after radiation, sometimes there are side effects that um, that occur from the radiation. And then I was kind of just like, okay, well, like how likely is that? Is that like less than 1% chance? <laughs> they said, well, it's not rare, but it is uncommon and it, it can happen. They told me that that's what they think it is. He just has a runny nose and he's just gonna have to deal with a runny nose and that that is way better news than the cancer coming back. His chest area that he seems a little bit skirmish from, it could be just like 
he just doesn't like to be touched there. The doctors were just basically like, this is the best news you could ask for. There's nothing that they need to do and that there's nothing I need to do. Oh man, I like, Like, I'm so thankful. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support that you sent to, and all, you know, sending all the good vibes to Gatsby. I think it worked. So, thank you so much. That night I slept for like 11 hours. I didn't realize how drained I was. I had not been doing well at all. I know it sounds really bad, and I know it sounds really dark, but I kind of had given up hope already. The, that week, leading up to it, I was pretty much just had said goodbye to Gatsby and I took him to all of his places. I was like, this is our last time we're gonna go here. We just need to spend time together and I truly thought that that was the end. That last video that I posted, it was very hard for me to edit. I used a lot of footage from this past year when Gatsby was younger. I can't even watch the footage without... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just having a hard time. <laughs> now? I mean, this was like the greatest present ever. The greatest news ever. We're gonna really celebrate this year. We're gonna make it a year to remember, okay? Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm still trying to recover from everything. We'll take a behind the scenes look at the calendar that Gatsby and I had been working super, super hard on for the past few months. We'll give an update on our Wave 2 merchandise release and we'll give you a $10 gift card credit to use on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Okay, let's start the video. Okay, I just got the Christmas tree from Costco. We're gonna go home now and set it up. This is gonna be a wonderful Christmas this year. We're gonna, we're gonna go all out for Gatsby. Gatsby, look what we got! We're gonna celebrate Christmas together with a Christmas tree! This is nice, it comes with the lights already on and it changes colors. Gatsby scared. Gatsby, don't be scared. Don't worry. That's a Christmas tree. You remember? We got one when we first moved into this place. There we go. Wow, it looks pretty good. Wow, look how tall it is. That's a tall tree. Look at that! Whoa! I'm scared. <laughs> Ornaments are from you guys. You have sent us some ornaments. And we also, of course, have Gatsby's stainless steel ornaments here. We're on track to have the best Christmas ever, right? <laughs> Should we open some mail, Gatsby? We're gonna open some packages that you guys sent us. This one is from Amelia from Egan, Minnesota. Oh, good boy. I love Sour Patch. This is mine, Gatsby, not for you. I want to let you know that my family has been praying for you every day. Thank you, Milia. Next one is from Iris from Hong Kong. Hey, Gatsby, don't eat the card. Stop it. Happy Thanksgiving to Gatsby. It's a Dougie Bubble Waffle toy. Oh, Gatsby, look, you get this. Waffle on this side, and the bubble waffle on this side. Ready? Go! Oh. Go! 
Thank you so much, Iris and Melia. Right now, I am shipping out some of the orders that we got in. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting Gatsby and me. We've been working so hard on all of the merchandise. I'm not going to name who it is because it might be a Christmas present. So the first order is going to Londonbury, New Hampshire. So they ordered two Christmas hats, the 2024 calendar, and they ordered the Christmas sweater. A lot of people were asking about the Christmas sweater. These, I did not anticipate it being so popular and that so many people wanted it. I unfortunately was not able to do a reorder. A lot of people were asking when I'm going to restock it. It's not going to be this year, unfortunately, because the sweaters take like three months to make and there was just like no time to reorder it. So if you were really lucky to get one, congratulations. <laughs> they get the free Christmas card. Ta-da! It looks beautiful. I love this card. And they also got a free keychain. Okay, this person in Londonbury, New Hampshire, your order is on the way. Let's do another one. Okay, this person ordered a signed calendar, signed by Gatsby and me on the centerfold picture here. Wrist lanyard, we're, we're actually making new wrist lanyards and they're coming in soon. I'll show you a picture a little bit later. They ordered a RAR shirt, graphite medium. We have over here our RAR shirts. These are also not going to be restocked right now. So whatever is there, grab what you want. <laughs> so I got the RAR shirt here. Ta da! Rawr. They got the plush. If you got a new plush this time around, they're brand new updated design. The difference is that the back, if you notice, is used with black fur. So this is, it's way softer. The old design used like a fabric sprayer that sprayed on the black fur. If you want to get one of the updated plushes, they're available now. It's part of wave two. We just got them all in. And they ordered a liquid paperweight. It looks like this. This is what the liquid paperweight looks like. If you guys were wondering, these are also restocked from um, wave two of the launch. I have very few of them though, so um, if you want to get one, make sure to grab it. So this one is going to go in a medium flat rate box. We'll wrap it a little bit. Brooklyn, New York. Order is on the way. Hooray! Thank you so much, you guys. Stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you guys the gift card code for $10 off the merchandise in our store for Black Friday. Okay, it's time for me to reveal to you wave two of our merchandise release. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys is the Christmas beanie. It comes with all the corgis all around on all the sides. Ta-da! They turned out really cool. Yeah. Another special thing I just got in are the embroidered pullover hoodies. This is the latest hoodie style from Independent Trading Company. It is a chenille embroidery, so it's like extra fuzzy, has like different textures, and it's a really, really big embroidered patch. It looks really good. We have black, this is olive, and this is heather gray. I always had this embroidery technique in mind when I made this design. There are two more items that are in the Wave 2 release. They have not arrived yet, but I'm gonna be taking pre-sales because they're gonna arrive next week. A new lanyard and keychain. It has a raw design woven into the ribbon, and the ribbon is sewn onto like a belt web. This is last year's embroidered cushion. I used all the different techniques. We have a new cushion here. I just have the sample, but it's gonna look exactly like this. Ta-da! Totally new design here incorporating a lot of elements from our vlog. It's like a matching design with the original cushion. You can have both like on your bed or in your living room. The original cushion uses more like greens and browns and I wanted to have the matching cushion kind of be like a yin and a yang. So this one uses more cooler colors like blue and purple. It has the sun, palm trees in the original design. And then this one has the moon, it has mountains here and stars. They're gonna be incredibly limited quantities originally because this one takes a while to make. If you want to get it in time for Christmas, make sure to order it very soon. Those are the items from our Wave 
to release. All of the items are available at corgionfleet.com. As I mentioned before, I will be giving you guys a $10 gift card code that you can use for any of the merchandise in the store, including our Wave 2 merchandise. I'll give that code to you at the end of the video, but that's our release. I hope you liked it. I'm really excited for all the stuff. Hello, Gatsby. Mm, yeah. Oh. I've been busy shipping out orders all day. I thought that I would share with you some footage that we had shot during Gatsby's calendar shoot with Koki, our photographer who flew in from Japan. So I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at some of the photos. Please enjoy, and we'll see you guys right afterwards. Look who it is, we got Koki <laughs> back from Japan. Our photographer, he came to shoot Gatsby's calendar once again. This is our next shoot location. Ooh. I had always wanted to do a shot where Gatsby's running directly at the camera, but I didn't know how to do it because each time we would try, Gatsby would like swerve off to the side. Yeah, that was hard. So Koki was like, you have to get an electric skateboard that I can ride and Gatsby can chase me. <laughs> I had my friend Chris, he borrowed his cousin's skateboard. He helped guide Gatsby while I called him and held a treat in front of the camera and ran <laughs> with Koki on the skateboard to get Gatsby's eye line correct. Like, it, it can't, it's, it's impossible unless you're here. Like, it literally means. And it was really hard because that day there was like a blood moon. Everybody was coming to this bridge to take pictures of the blood moon and view the blood moon. And everyone's looking at us with cameras going, oh, did you get, what, did you get good pictures? And we're like, what? Oh, we're taking pictures of the dog. <laughs> this shot, it looks simple in the end, but it's <laughs> so complicated. I always wanted to do this. Gatsby's so impossibly close to the camera. He's like in focus and everything else is like blurry around him. It looks really cool. I was really interested in playing with light. When I brought that idea up to Koki, he was like, yeah, let's do a disco shot. One of the hardest things is finding a place to shoot this. So I finally came up with the idea, why don't we just shoot it in my friend's garage? Because I know they have white walls in the garage and they have a hard floor. We got there that evening and cleared out the space. And really, that was it. It, it looks so clean and so nice, but it was really shot in the garage. We just brought a pole, tied the disco ball to it, and the light that's reflecting off of it, it's just a flashlight. I just bought a really strong flashlight. We used a fog machine to try to get the rays a little bit. I wanted Gatsby to have like a little dancing pose moment. I think that this is one of my favorite shots of the camera. It looks so good. You would never guess that that was done in a garage. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and again, thank you so much for all of your support Oh, and it's time I guess right now for us to give you a $10 gift card code to use at CorgiOnFleek.com The code is COFBF23 We also have other Black Friday sales going on If you want to get some Corgi merchandise and support Gatsby and me as well Make sure to go there and thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night! Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan!